Hello everybody, happy Sunday. It is a gorgeous day here. So the sun is bright, sorry about that. So I am airing out the house, opening windows. It's going to be gorgeous and perfect. Perfect day and I am going to be doing all of my meal prepping today. Charles is doing yard work. Luke is quite grumpy today. But all of our sinuses are going kind of crazy because this weather is up and down like a roller coaster out here. Um, we are in Ohio, if you didn't know. And it's just been a roller coaster. So I am getting a little bit later start. We did sleep in some. Um, so I'm getting a little bit later, like I said, started. So going on noon. And I would like to have everything done by like 5 o'clock. So I'm gonna give myself five hours of being in the kitchen. <laughs> so the other kids are all gonna be helping with the yard work with taking care of Luke. Um, because like I said, he is on the grumpy side today. So what we're gonna make is I'm gonna go on and start with dinner. And I'm gonna pop some chili. I made a vegetarian chili yesterday, but I'm gonna make a regular chili today and I'm gonna make a corn chowder. And I'm gonna get those going in the crock pots so that when dinner hits tonight, I'm done, dinner's done. I've definitely found on meal prep day that is huge help for me to just have crock pot going. Then I'm gonna make some whole wheat bread. I have made this bread for years. I love it. It is completely healthy. It's olive oil, yeast, sugar, flour, whole wheat flour, and honey, and I believe that's it. So I will make that with you guys. Um, I will be eating on that a lot this week because I am starting to try to eat cleaner and clean up my diet again because I've kind of fallen off the wagon. Um, I'm going to bake up some bacon because I need that one for the corn chowder tonight, and two, we are going to make some bacon, egg, and cheese burritos for the freezer so that I have those for Charles. Take a break from the biscuits. Uh, I need to boil a few eggs because I'm gonna make tuna salad. I need to make some granola for their yogurt parfaits. So we're gonna make granola. And then I wanted to make some cookie doughs to just have ready. I'm gonna scoop them out with my ice cream scooper, pop them on a sheet, put them in the freezer so that way I have cookie doughs just ready to pop into the oven for dessert throughout the week. So I want to make up an oatmeal cookie, oatmeal cookie dough, peanut butter cookie dough, and chocolate chip cookie dough. Um, let's see, what else do I wanna make? I wanna make some caramel corn or crunch and munch, like our own homemade version, so it'll have peanuts and caramel and all of that. I found a Paula Deen recipe, and it says that it lasts in airtight containers for up to a month. So definitely for a few weeks in, that is fabulous munching and crunching snacks. Um, I wanted to make a apple fritter bread and a pumpkin bread today. Those I will slice up and they'll be ready to go for breakfast. I also wanted to make cinnamon roll pancakes. I've never made those before. They look awesome. And then you're supposed to make this cream cheese icing. I did get this off Pinterest. Um, I'm not going to make the icing today. I just want to make the pancakes and then we'll make the icing up the morning that we're going to do the pancakes. Um, and then I got some ham out of the freezer, deli sliced ham and Swiss cheese. So I want to just make some sandwiches up so that they're ready to go and I can put those back in the freezer and then either throw them in the oven for hot ham and Swiss uh, sandwiches or just send them frozen and they'll be thawed by the time Charles or Ronnie were to eat lunch. Then I also want to go on and make up some breakfast cookies if I didn't say that already. And I wanted to make up the Caesar salad kits for their uh, lunches because Charles and the girls love Caesar salads. So I wanna go on and just put them all in their individual little containers so that they're ready to go. And that's about it for today, <laughs> which is actually quite a bit, but I really don't think it's going to take me any more time than the five hours. The longest part is granola cooks for like an hour, the caramel co corn cooks for like an hour, waiting for the bread to rise, all of that stuff. Um, 
but everything else like making cookie dough doesn't take hardly any time um, the breads you know none of it should be that complicated so let's go get started and we're gonna go on and start with the um, corn chowder let's get that made up all right so the first thing that you're gonna do is to chop your onion your carrots and your celery and I have this handy little chopper that I got off Amazon but you do not need this of course you could just chop them by hand And as you can see, it cuts them into the perfect little size pieces. Then I'm gonna heat some oil up in a pan and saute the onions, carrots, and celery. And then transfer those to the crock pot and add all your spices I have that listed in the description box below your broth chicken or vegetable stock and potatoes and then cover it and cook it on high for a few hours okay so now why that Cooking. We're gonna go on and start the chili. First, I'm gonna brown my beef and mix in my onions, some red and yellow peppers, and garlic, and get that all sauteed and browned. Transfer that to your crock pot. And then I'm going to add two cans of Rotel tomatoes. This is just Aldi brand. And a can of diced tomatoes. A can of chili beans. I get that at Aldi also. And a can of rinsed and drained black beans. Two cans of tomato sauce. Give that a quick stir. And then I add a little bit of cinnamon a little nutmeg and chili powder to taste. And then a little bit of brown sugar. Give that a good stir and then you're gonna put your lid on and either cook it on low all day or high for three to four hours. What are you listening to? A periodic table? You haven't done that in a while. Okay, so why I've got the chili now going and I've got the corn chowder going, I'm gonna go on and get the bread dough made. So let's do that next. We're gonna start with our warm water, not hot, not cold, just warm olive oil At first I didn't think or yeast At first I 
Salt. Honey. And then add our flour. Going to stir that, or you can knead it by hand, until it comes apart from the bowl. I added a little bit more water, and you'll see a nice ball form. And then you're going to put a little bit of olive oil on top and roll it around. You don't want it to stick to your pan. Cover it and let it rise until double in size. Okay, so I got the eggs baking along with the bacon. I didn't show you guys that because I've shown you guys before. Um, sorry, trying to adjust that. How I do my eggs. So it's just put them in a pan, pop them in the oven. So that's ready to go for the breakfast burritos. So next I'm going to go on and move into the breakfast cookies. Now he's moved to learning about Texas. We're going to start with some unsweetened applesauce. Almond butter. This is raw sugar, but you can use brown sugar, white sugar, whatever sweetener you like. We also have done it many times with coconut sugar, which is also wonderful. Ground flaxseed. Vanilla. Oat flour, salt, baking soda, wheat flour. And then you're going to get that all well and combined. Add some chocolate chips. And then I like to use a small ice cream scooper. I spray it and then I measure out the cookies. It helps keep them the same size. You just flatten them a little bit and make sure they're nice and round and pop them in the oven. the granola. I don't measure any of this um, so I'll just let you kind of see what I'm making what I'm doing with it and uh, you can make your own big batch small batch however just kind of eyeball what I'm doing. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start with some old-fashioned oats, honey, Nuts. I am just using mixed nuts that are unsalted. A little vanilla. Salt. Melted coconut oil. And then just mix that all up. And put it on a baking sheet. And this I bake at 300 degrees for 45 minutes to an hour. And you just stir it around some. I also top it with a little bit of cinnamon right before I put it in the oven. Okay, 
Okay, so next I want to go on it and assemble the um, breakfast burritos because I have everything ready for that. So I'm going to go on and assemble those and get those into a freezer bag. You and I, we tried so hard to make it. You promised me that you would never leave. Okay, so it is about 2.45 and the bread is actually ready to go into the oven. So as soon as this granola is done, I'm going to switch and put the bread in the oven. So since I'm going to have the oven going at a higher temperature, I'm going to go on and make the um, pumpkin bread and the apple cinnamon. But actually, I'm going to make the apple fritter bread, I think, first. And then the pumpkin bread, I think I'm going to turn that into muffins. So let's start with the apple bread now. First, you're going to add some brown sugar and cinnamon together and stir that up and then set that aside. Next, your butter. That's supposed to be softened, but mine got a little bit too soft. <laughs> your sugar. And get that well mixed up. Add your eggs one at a time and blend well each time. Then your vanilla. In a separate bowl, mix your flour and your baking powder. Stir that together and then add it to your other mixture and get that nice and mixed up. And then you're gonna slowly add milk. And unlike me, you might want to turn down your mixer a little bit when you add it so it doesn't go everywhere. I had a little milk on the face. Then in another bowl, you're going to chop up your apples. You want them finely but not shredded. And you're going to toss them with some sugar and cinnamon and set them aside. Next, you want to prepare your pan, and to do that, I use a bread pan, and I put some spray on it and aluminum foil in it, and then you're going to layer the three mixtures, as you can see that I'm doing here, and then you're going to pop that into the oven. And we definitely highly recommend this one. It was very good. Hit with the whole family. And this is what the other bread dough looks like, the wheat bread that is also ready to go into the oven. So I'm putting them both in at the same time. Okay, now I'm gonna go on and do the pumpkin muffin super quick. So let's go on and make this. So we're gonna start with brown sugar, an egg, applesauce, And get that all good and mixed up. And then we're going to slowly add our can of pumpkin. Our spices. Vanilla. Slowly add in the milk. Once that's all mixed up, scrape down the sides. And then we're going to add our flour. Get that good and mixed up. And then you're just going to put that in your muffin tins. Okay, now it's time to add the rest of the ingredients to the corn chowder. So let's go on and do that real quick. So I'm making a mess of it, but I'm adding the frozen corn. And then the milk.
and you're going to mix cornstarch with the water so that you're making a roux to thicken your soup. And once you pour that in, you're going to give it a good stir. Okay, so something very peculiar is going on. My whole family just left, all of them, and I'm home all alone to finish cooking. So no, I can't come find them. <laughs> I guess it's Mother's Day shopping, so poor Charles. <laughs> He's got every one of them. Oh, heaven's sakes. All right, so now let's see what is next on our list. Okay, so next on the list is to just go on and make the cookie doughs. Um, that's not a big deal at all. So I'm going to make peanut butter, chocolate chip, and oatmeal. So let's get those started. Um, I guess we'll go on and just start with chocolate chip. We're going to start with our Crisco and our butter. And we're going to go on and mix that up, get it good and smooth. And then add half the flour, brown sugar, sugar, vanilla. The eggs. your baking soda, and your rest of your flour. Once that's all mixed up real good, add your chocolate chips. And then I like to use that same ice cream scoop and get them into nice little scoops so that way they are all the same size. And I'm gonna put this in the freezer to get good and hard. And then the peanut butter cookies, we're gonna do butter and peanut butter. I did not wash my pan or bowl in between because I didn't need to with these two recipes. Get those blended really well. Add half your flour. And then you're gonna do the same thing. Add your egg. Your sugar, brown sugar. Baking soda and baking powder. The rest of your flour. And I also like to add a little bit of cinnamon and then do the same thing and just put them in the freezer to set before you put them in your freezer bags. Well, now before I do the last of the cookie dough, the oatmeal cookie dough, <laughs> stretch a little bit. I'm going to go on and make the caramel corn because my oven is free and that has to cook in the oven for about an hour and it is still already 4.30. So finishing by 5, not going to happen. So now let's aim for 6. Let me go on and get that started. Okay, you're gonna start with your butter and your corn syrup, brown sugar, salt, and get that mixed up and you want that to get all melted and you want it to start to boil. You need to be stirring this constantly and it is best if you use a wooden spoon when working with any kind of candy making. Once it starts to boil like this, then you're going to let it boil for five minutes, set a timer, and you want to continue to stir continuously, scraping down the sides so no sugar crystals form. And while that is sitting there, I'm going to add some peanuts to my popcorn. 
and then pour the caramel over the top. Be very careful, this is very hot. I did burn myself, I always do. So be very careful. Then you're gonna give that a good stir, and then you're going to put that on a sprayed baking dish. I even lined mine with foil because I don't want it to stick. And then you're gonna put it in the oven at 300 degrees and bake it for an hour. Okay, it is time to get back to the corn chowder. It is going on five o'clock. So what we're gonna do is take the lid off, get the bay leaf out, mash it a little bit, and it should be about ready to go. Okay, so next I am going to go on and make up my tuna salad super quick so that I've got that. I think I'm gonna let go of making the oatmeal cookies because I'm getting pretty wore out. So let's make the tuna salad and then I'm gonna go on and make the pancakes next. So all I do for my tuna salad is empty my tuna. I had some of that mixture left that I made earlier and cut up my egg, a little bit of mustard, mayonnaise, salt and pepper, sweet relish, little bit of garlic powder and stir it up and it's ready to go. Okay, now we're gonna start the pancakes. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make up the um, filling that we're gonna drizzle in the middle to make these cinnamon roll pancakes. So let's start making the filling first. Okay, you're gonna start with melted butter and add your cinnamon and get that stirred up. Then add your brown sugar and stir it up again and set that aside. In another bowl, mix your flour, baking powder, sugar, salt, and stir that up. And then we're going to add our wet ingredients. Our egg. vanilla, milk, get that good and stirred up. I ended up adding a little more milk than what the recipe called for because we like it a little thinner. And then I have this squirt bottle. If you do not have one of these, you could put it in a baggie and just cut the end of the baggie off and it works just the same. Spoon your batter into a hot pan. I also sprayed my pan before I did. And then make the cinnamon swirl on top and you just bake it like a regular pancake. Okay, so it is six o'clock and I'm done. <laughs> so I didn't make the sandwiches that I wanted to make today, but I can still make those tomorrow very easily. It was just putting ham and cheese together and putting them in the freezer. I didn't make the Caesar salads yet, but I can make those tomorrow again. It's all just cutting up lettuce and put the salads together. Um, and then I did not make the oatmeal cookie dough, but I made everything else. So let's go look and see what all I meal prepped today. Okay, here is the table. All ready to go. So we started off with dinner. So here is the chili that we made. And here is the corn chowder. And I have some bacon left over there that I saved out to top the corn chowder with some cheese and bacon. There is the bacon, egg, and cheese breakfast burritos. The peanut butter cookie dough. See, they're just frozen little balls ready to go. Chocolate chip cookie dough. 
the tuna salad, the pumpkin muffins, our healthy cookies, breakfast cookies, granola, cinnamon roll pancakes. Guys, I don't know about this one. I don't know if I'll make it again or not. Um, I'll let you know what the kids think of it. This is the apple bread. Um, I am supposed to make a little icing and drizzle that over the top. I just wasn't doing that today since we weren't eating it today. Then the whole wheat bread. Veggies are all cut up and ready to go. And then we have caramel corn back there ready to put away and have for munching on. So that is what we made today during our meal prep. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching, and I will see all of you tomorrow. I know I didn't get the family much in this one today, but this is a, a long one. <laughs> so I'll see all of you tomorrow for a full day of eating and fun with the kids. Bye, everybody.